Hello, uh, this is a, a detailed video how to set up a 16 kilowatt off grid system with mains uh, backup, of course, uh, in a single phase mode. Here, yeah, let's start from uh, the paralleling process. Uh, the inverter one, we use a serial port. Serial port A is connected to the serial port B and serial port B is connected to serial port A of uh, inverter number 2 uh, the twisted pair of red and black cables are connected from port 1 to port 1 and from port Two to port two. So it goes straight from one to one, two to number two. So that's uh, the parallel process, that's a parallel connection. Now you have to connect the mains only to the inverter one and inverter two. No batteries, just mains AC input. And then you have to visit menu number 28. Well, that's our number, menu 28. And you select the option PAL. You press enter and then you exit. And then you will see that. This is our master inverter. Okay. Now we're going to move to the slave inverter. We'll repeat the process of this inverter to get um, uh, to establish the parallel communication. See the screen here it says HS and on this screen it says SL. Yeah. Now that's done. Now we are ready to connect the batteries. The batteries are in parallel. We have eight units here, eight pilotic batteries. another four all connected in parallel using um, the Victron uh, DC link bus bar so I have here a group of two connected back to the links distributor then another group of two another one so four groups in total it's better to share the current using 25 square mill cables so when uh, the connections are ready the next important part is the BMS cable all pylon techs and uh, Volta converters require um, an RS485 no connection to the canvas port only the RS485 and in this case we have the BMS cable on our on this battery you can see it. it's RS485 pin 7 8 first dip switch up second third and fourth dip switch is down that applies only to the master battery the other batteries have the dip switch is down all the other batteries all seven batteries yeah master battery deep switch one up two three four down rs485 pin seven and eight crossed to pin three and five on the inverter bms terminal be careful that this end of the cable 
uses only the pins 3 and 5 crossed to 7, 8. If you use the wrong cable, you will see error 61. If you also don't turn the dip switches up and down correctly, again, you will see the error 61. There is no other way to get the error 61. You have to be very careful to use the right cable. Now, the inverters are ready. You can switch on the AC output, this button, long press on both inverters and the inverters will start. Now, let's look at the AC input. AC input, yeah, and the AC input from the other inverter are connected to an AC isolator. And there is also uh, an MCB, uh, the AC input, a 100 tab isolator switch, and a changeover switch. We use a changeover switch for maintenance. If we turn it to the on position, that's the only way to get the AC input to the consumer unit of the property directly. We will bypass the inverters and we will fit the mains straight to the consumer unit. When the changeover switch is in the off position, uh, the mains, the AC input, is connected only to the AC input of the inverter and nowhere else. You cannot backfeed the AC input to the AC output of the inverter. If this is going to happen, it will blow up the inverters because these inverters cannot operate in parallel with the grid. So the AC input is terminated here to the AC input of the inverter 1 and inverter 2. The inverter will decide when to bypass the AC input to the loads. And this happens when the energy storage is very low or there is not enough sun or when something is wrong with the inverter so they cannot fulfill all the power requirements then the inverter will automatically switch the AC input to the AC output okay so that's our setup now let's look at um, uh, one important parameter here because so many customers are interested to into charging uh, at uh, low rates at night so, when you have uh, to set the parameter here on uh, the inverter 1, you also have to set it on the inverter 2. So when we set up the batteries, for example, that's menu 5. Yeah. Let's go to menu 5 quickly. PYL. I have to go back to the slave inverter to set the battery as a user, the user mode. See, number five, user mode. Only the master battery is set to PYL, otherwise it's going to give you an error. Now, to charge at night, 99% of the customers want to charge from 12 until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. So this is what we do. We go to menu 99, we enter this menu, and you can use SBU M and on this inverter same menu 99 USB 1 to 4 this is gonna start around 12.59 until 4 o'clock USB 0 1 0 4 and then we go here again to this uh, menu USB enter 
one, four, exit, and job done. Another important menu is the menu number 16. I prefer to send it to SNU. Actually, I think that's the default setting, SNU menu 16. Thank you, both inverters. And that's it, menu number one. Typical, it's the priority. We have solar, battery, and then utility. So we start from solar, the batteries, and if uh, solar and batteries are not adequate, then the utility will support uh, our loads. And that's it, we are ready to go. Right now, you can see that the inverter operates from the batteries only. The grid is not connected. See here, there is no connection. It's 250 volts from the grid, but they're just not doing anything. The output is 230 volts. We have around 300 volts from one inverter, and then another approximately 300 volts from the other inverter. They share the load. Yeah. everything is running well notice that uh, the battery icon is flashing on the top left corner that means we pair the inverter with the battery there is no error it is discharging it's 5 amps the state of the batteries is ok nearly full Uh, the Wi-Fi is integrated, you can pair the inverters one at a time. You have to pair both inverters with the Wi-Fi. And you have to create an account with add two inverters. In this inverter you have some auxiliary outputs, 12 volt. You may need it for external 12 volt loads up to uh, 8.4 uh, amps total. I'm not using them at the moment. Here we have our PV inputs, three strings, two, the inverter one, and another one, for the inverter two. There is a spare string that we are not using at the moment. So thank you very much for watching, I hope uh, I helped you with this video, if you need anything else please uh, drop us an email, thank you.